There was potential for a dive to come in from Jolbu, but I think they're respecting the fact that Scoot is in the vicinity, so they do not opt to go for it. Nilly is able to pick up this wave under tower, but this is something we saw from him last week as well, is Nilly sometimes oversteps at the wrong time. Ooh. Nice Hoax has jumped onto Jacob here. That's a great death sentence by PlayStation. He just gets ping-ponged all the way back in first blood. At any point in the game, but especially later on when Azir is a monster. And then in the side lane, Camille just hard outscales the Aatrox. And we saw how close that 1v1 was before. When Nilly gets two items... Oh, that's actually a failed dash there. Yeah, Nilly could just get jumped on here. Andreas uses that World Ender, and Nilly low health, no flash, nowhere to go, and the Deathbringer stance in the back of the head secures Andreas an easy kill. Now Singularity, they're going to look to get themselves the Ocean Drake in response. Kick comes in, Scoot jumps Great out, kick. that's going to be the drag secured. Joel Boo gets picked up, though. It's going to be a one for none already in trouble. King Trogson uses that Emperor's Divide. He has to flash away. Andreas chasing in, though, seeing if they can get it. The bullet time will send everybody packing. And then they need a Cataclysm on a Thor. They're actually looking now. Yeah, they're looking for it. Krogson, that's the hook. A lot of damage. They don't need the Cataclysm. They just see Sand Soldiers. There's now Fred. He's going to get caught out. Flay has that PlayStation available. I got it the wrong way around, but it doesn't matter. It's a double kill to Krogson. And Jacob as well, unable to find the chains on a Krogson such a long time. Does find it here on a Nilly. Nilly actually getting chunked out. Engage coming in, Bob. Yeah, they're looking for that fight kick. Does land, but in goes the bullet time. It's going to try and rattle through some damage. Shobu goes golden. Rai is going to dodge away, but he is going to get stunned up. It's a one for one as Rai will finally fall. Krogson with the Sand Soldiers just doing God's work here. A triple kill for him. A, a quadra, quadra kill. kill in return. Krogson plays like an absolute madman. It's the full ace. They've got the Baron. They've got the minions. This is the game. Over to the side of Singularity. And Krogson once again, we saw it last week up against Nordavind, showing us why right now he is very much the best mid laner in the league. So old man has to sit down. <laughs> uh, I feel like in this situation, you uh, you just sacrifice Scoot and say, well, he got the dragon, let's not put ourselves in an awkward spot. I mean, not even Scoot. Scoot was out. It was yeah. Krogson who was walking in. Yeah, it was a really weird... Really late. Yeah, I, I, I felt like a bit of miscommunication maybe from Singularity there. Yeah. I think Scooter was panicking because he had no ward, but at the end of the day, you just burn your flash and it's not a big issue. Flipper, however, he's looking with the package. Flipper doesn't have his ultimate, though. He is only level 5 and has taken a huge amount of damage here. And now Scood follows up. That's basically going to lose the Rift Tower. A great kick. And they are trying to put pressure now as Flipper gets a really good knock up. Now in comes Mokox. He's doing a huge amount of damage. The Misfortune Ultimate is doing work. And in the meantime, Nile absolutely tears through the entire lineup of Hillerod. And that is the top lane difference. That is the top lane advantage finally being picked up. You are, you are doing it on, 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 on Nile's side of the map, but the teleport's coming through from Misfortune. Yeah, teleporting in to go for this fight. Aureli is here, though. Got to be cautious. I'm not sure you want to do that, uh, Flipper. You do not want to do that, but Nilly jumps in. He's very, very low. There comes the ultimate from the Soraka and the ultimate from the Kale, as you talked about. No one can kill this Irelia, and she gets a double kill, and they'll pick up the Infernal. This definitely is bad omens. And even with the Mountain Soul and the Soraka, not enough to keep them alive. Kale wasn't there to off the ultimate. Now she's caught out. Oh, Krogson again, overstepping. Immediately the Cataclysm comes through. That's a good... Good ultimate from Misfortune, but the Braum ultimate will keep everybody safe and they will disengage. And Nile finally makes his way here, but again, he's going to have to turret dive to make anything worth it right now. I think they finally get the tower here in this situation. That's good. That'll open up the map a little bit more. Maybe Nile can look for something more aggressive. Cannot. The stun oh, engage. immediately chains in. He has to flash away, but he is so, so tanky. He jumps onto the back line. He will eventually go down. The shutdown actually goes down to Lockathune, and suddenly it is going to be Hillerod turning things around. Reggie does get a uh, kill back, but... Honestly, minion waves dive up. Going to be another inhibitor turret going down as Krogson just cleaves the wave into non-existence. They, they even lock Krogson up. And they don't even try and take the fight because they know they can't. It's just impossible at this point in time. Scoot, I wouldn't even say Scoot has had the game of his life, but he's done his job. He's found the good kicks. He's found the good engages. Hey, he set up the advantage for Lockerdon. And did, Nilly yeah. just ran away with the game. Absolutely, because they denied so much from Lockerdon in the early game and Nilly really exploited. They have to go for the fight here. Nilly on the front line. Nothing that they can really do. A great kick into the Misfortune Ultimate and that's going to be a double lock up for Scoot. Double kill coming in for Ray. And they're going to take down Lockerdon as well. This is going to be GG's called in the chat and Singularity will take their game against Hillerod. It was a tough game. 
apart from Nile, but they get the win and they lock themselves into four and zero on the table.